Hey guys, Ivan here, and at about 15 weeks out of Chicago Pro, we have an update of Sergio Oliva. It is very interesting, this Chicago Pro is going to be exciting because we are seeing a clash of two bodybuilders who are actually sons of very accomplished bodybuilders, bodybuilding legends, I can say, Sergio Oliva Sr., three times Mr. Olympia champion, and Lee Labrada. He never won a Mr. Olympia, but he was very close to winning it, and he's probably the best poser of all time. So, two legends of bodybuilding, their sons are competing against each other in an IIBB Pro show. So, that's gonna be very, very interesting to see. Let's just wait for Joseph Benya, Arnold's son, to actually turn pro and uh, compete against the other guys. But, yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Anyways, right here you can see uh, Sergio Oliva Jr. at 15 weeks out, hitting a side chest. And he looks great. He looks great at this point. So we saw him uh, last time at the Arnold Classic, he took 5th, he prepped for the Arnold Classic Australia, he actually went over there, but the show was cancelled, he looked amazing, so this is what he looked like uh, before that show, that never happened, so he would have probably placed better than 5th, but unfortunately the show didn't happen, and here is him about one year later, and does he look improved? I mean honestly I don't see some crazy kind of improvements, but he does look big, and he's getting conditioned, so we'll see what's gonna happen on that stage, I don't know, at this point, I mean, based on all I've seen so far, I would bet on Hunter Labrada, I think Hunter is just bigger, better, at this point, much thicker, look at him, I mean, he, he's looking crazy right now, so once again, it's gonna be very much fun to see these guys one against another, who do you guys have winning, Hunter Labrada or Sergio Oliva? So, okay, we know that Sergio is doing Chicago, bro, and Hunter is doing Chicago, bro, and Blessing, Nick Walker, Justin Rodriguez, Hassan Mostafa, Morgan Ace, they're all doing New York Pro, and what about Rolly Winkler? We have seen a lot of, a lot of posts from him, he seems to be training hard for something, but we didn't really know, we didn't find out yet which show he's gonna do, so now he posted this, this shot of him, uh, just sitting there in a the shadow, and he says, and it's almost time to gear up and head back out to Middle East. He's going back to the oxygen gym, and also he says that uh, they have some big, some crazy plans for this year. So what are those crazy plans? Which shows is he gonna do? Is it gonna be like Arnold Classic and Mr. Olympia? Is he gonna jump into New York Pro? There were some rumors about that. So there is a lot of speculation, and we don't know... But we can just guess, so what do you guys think? What is the most realistic thing for Rolly Winkler right now? Which show is he gonna try and win and then qualify for the Mr. Olympia by winning that show? Is it gonna be like a huge show, like Arnold Classic? I mean, that would be really bold, like Remy tried to do. You know, trying to win the second biggest show in the world and then qualifying for the Mr. Olympia that way? Or is he gonna try something easier? If he jumped into a New York Pro, he would have a really big chance of actually winning that show, but... What do you guys think? What, what show is Rolly gonna do? But obviously he has some crazy plans and he's going back to the uh, auction gym to train, to train hard, to prep for what, whichever show he decides to do. So which show is gonna be? What do you think? Blessing Alaribu posts a gym selfie in which he looks rather aesthetic. And a lot of people in the comments are saying stuff like man's physique, classic physique. And it pissed him off. So he replied. He replied to people. He says, y'all saying uh, classic physique because it's been a long time since you witnessed uh, an extremely balanced aesthetic shape and size in open class. So obviously he got a little bit offended, and these open bodybuilders, they don't like to be called classy, because that only means they're too small. And he doesn't think he's small, and he isn't, he's definitely not small for classic, he's a big guy. But he has really good shape, and he still didn't blow up his waist. So when he does a photo like this, a selfie, a, gym, a bathroom selfie, he does look very aesthetic, I mean the waist looks small, but his head is closer to the camera, so his body doesn't look that big, as it actually is, so it does kind of look classic, and uh, he looks a little bit downsized, but that's not really it, I mean he's a big guy, he's a huge guy, though he does have some great aesthetics, and it's true, like, we're not used to seeing these open bodybuilders looking aesthetic like this when they take a, a bathroom selfie, a mirror selfie. So we don't see waists small like this, and that's a great thing. That's a great thing, because that's what is making a comeback right now in bodybuilding. Small waist is a thing, again. So a long time ago, it was a very important thing. Aesthetics were important thing in bodybuilding, but then it became all about the size. 
and eventually people arose against it. And the judges as well, the judges accepted that and nobody really wants to see those big waves anymore. We want to see more aesthetic big bodybuilders. Still we want to see the size, but just control the midsection and that's what Blessing is doing. So you can call him classic or man's physique or whatever, but the truth is what he said right here. We are not used to see top bodybuilders, open bodybuilders with small waist like this. And it is refreshing. I gotta say, I love it. I want to see him on stage. I want to see how good he actually is muscularity wise against the other top guys, against the big guys, because he is big, but he is very aesthetic. And that's what we want in bodybuilding right now. But this is a whole different level of big. <laughs> this is Akeem Williams your 6th place finisher in the Mr. Olympia, who just posted a most recent physique update, and uh, god, he looks huge in this front double buy. I mean, look at the size of those arms, the biceps, like, how freaky that is. Uh, he kind of has smaller tricep compared to the bicep, but then you can see that it, it's big tricep, I mean, he doesn't have small triceps. The forearms are also freaking insane, and the waist, the waist is not blown up, it's a good looking waist. So somehow he also managed to do the same thing. So he kept the small waist, but he grew. Like he's a big, big guy. And that's exactly what we want in bodybuilding. Huge guys, big, big bodybuilders with small waist. And Akim is representing that just fine. Last year he finally figured out the conditioning. He brought an amazing shape. Hopefully he knows what the formula is. I mean, he repeated it. He brought great conditioning to a few shows and uh, that makes me feel confident that he's gonna bring it again. Now, he is not qualified for the Mr. Olympia, but only, only the top 5 is qualified automatically. He needs to win a show or, of course, qualify based on points, which is something he has done before, but last year he won a Chicago Pro and uh, I'm sure he, this, this year he's gonna pick a show and probably win whichever one he decides to, 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 to pick, to compete at. Because, look at this guy, he's so huge, he is a freak, like, he's a monster. So, Akeem Williams, 6th place finisher of the Mr. Olympia, a size freak who also kept a small waist. Alright, next we have a 17 weeks out update of Ian Valier. And this is a huge guy, this guy is really big. And uh, last year, uh, against Akeem, maybe he wasn't bigger. Maybe he was close, all were at the same level of size. But right now, it seems like he grew, he grew, I mean, quite a bit. So we'll see what he's gonna look in 17 weeks. I think his plan is, yeah, his plan is doing Tampa Pro. And uh, as you can see right here, <laughs> Sergio Oliva is telling him to stay in Canada because uh, there are no enough shows in America and he's gonna win probably whichever one he chooses to do. And he is making progress, like, he's, this guy is very devoted, so... He says that he was never this big and this strong. So take a look at what, what, what kind of workouts he does. This guy is not screwing around in the gym. So Ronnie Coleman was known for uh, deadlifting those 8 plates, I think for 2 reps. And uh, here, is, here is Ian deadlifting 7 plates for 7 freaking reps. And I can't imagine how strong he would be if he actually focused more on, on, on powerlifting. But uh, he's just strong like that, like he has the genetics for powerlifting as well as for bodybuilding. So he's huge right now. And look at the waist. So again, the same thing I was telling you before. Everybody right now is keeping a small waist, which tells me something. It tells me that it's possible. You can have a small waist and grow muscle. And I'm sure most of those bodybuilders who were heavily criticized for having big waists could have kept it small if they really tried. Because right now you can see all the top beasts top biggest guys are actually maintaining a small, a good-looking waist. Such as Ian Valier right here, who looks absolutely ridiculous when he does these chest flies. And finally, we have an update of Jeremy Buendia. This is what his physique looks like right now. And he says he hasn't been training for a long time. It's been 8 weeks since he lifted any weight. And he is below 180 right now. So he did lose a lot of size, a lot of size. He looks pretty skinny. He kept, you know, a decent shape, as you can see, the chest is there, the shape of the arms, the shoulders, a small waist, freaking crazy small waist. It's all there, but not, not as big as he once was, not even close. And he talks in this post about having uh, back issues and neck issues, and he needs to do a, a surgery on his neck, and that would definitely retire him, but he doesn't want to do it because of that, he wants to try and train somehow. He also tore a pack before his uh, last year's Mr. Olympia, where he lost, of course. 
and he has been retired basically for a few years he hasn't been competing so i don't know if he can actually make a comeback and then win a mr olympia again in man's physique but this is what he looks like right now he posted this story as well he compared himself with uh, bruce lee now bruce lee is a legend of course we all admire him but he was a skinny guy he was nothing like a bodybuilder and uh, i don't think this is very flattering for to, to, to jeremy because yeah compared to bruce lee who was really skinny i mean he kind of was muscular and really shredded but he was skinny and in this in this comparison right here i mean it's not that much big of a difference so yeah he lost a lot of size he lost a lot of gains but i guess for not lifting for eight weeks it's great you know two months not in the gym probably not eating a lot so if he can actually train somehow and can eat again a lot he can regain all that size easily no problem but right now he looks pretty skinny i mean unarguably so that's gonna do it for this video guys whatever you guys think about whichever part of this video tell me down below in the comment section let's talk and if you want to watch more bodybuilding videos like this that i'm gonna be posting every day from now on just subscribe to my channel and thank you in advance so much and thank you for watching all the best guys bye bye